In this video, what we're going to do is learn how to make things have a hover effect in Tailwind with React. And it's a little weird because you have to be incredibly explicit every time you want a on hover effect. And you're going to see this with other things in Tailwind, which I think in Tailwind does a lot of really cool things for you. In other cases, um, the, the amount of verbosity you have to give it is uh, a little much, but Let's go ahead and get to coding here. I'm gonna start off with the button and I'm not gonna give any classes yet. I just kinda of wanna set this up plain Jane. So we have save changes and then we're just gonna have a button there and then let's just do a div in here. And then inside of this, we're gonna have a label and then let's just call this example. We're gonna have name and then we're gonna have an input with it. And so we have type text that sounds good. And let's do an ID of example. So now that we have that, we're uh, pretty good to go. So now let's go ahead and add some of the class names in here. So in this div, let's just get the bottom half of this taken uh, care of. And so let's do class name equals. And let's have this be mt6 and this is a tailwind thing and this means margin top six and there's very you know various versions of margin top so you could think of m which is all around mt top right you know um left all that other good stuff and you can see here that is 1.5 rem which is 24 uh pixels there so that's pretty cool that it, it gives you that and so let's come in here to the actual input and let's do a class name here. And then we're going to do a focus, which is not the hover, but like I said, you're going to learn many things throughout this entire series. We're going to have a focus BG hyphen red. And let's go with 600 here. So they have the weighted colors from lightest are the smaller numbers. The heavier colors are, you know, greater in value. I'm going to do a border solid. And then we're going to do a border black and then a border two. Borders are a little bit more verbose than they are in typical CSS um, in Tailwind, but that's fine. So now that that's automatically saved, we see this right in here. So we could type like, you know, hello. But if we wanted to come in here, let's come in and do the class name and focus on the actual lesson, which is the hover. So let's start with the background of sky to give it some kind of color here. So we're going to start with 600 and then hover. So when we hover on it, it should change colors. So let's do BG sky. Um, let's do in the code off the screen. It's, it's a slightly darker color, but let's go ahead and do. 800 and what we'll do here is 500 because that I think will offset it more and just give you more meaningful impact and so and let's go and do active as well might as well show you a few things in here and then when it's active 7xl so the text is going to be ginormously large when the button is um, being interacted with there and then let's say the font is extra bold the text itself on the button will be 4XL. And I'm being a little bit cavalier here. You might want to organize these how you see fit or how your team sees fit. But let's give it a padding of 4. So now we have this right here. Um, it's funny how it does the hot reload in Visual Studio Code, but then like no changes are like seen here. So now we could see that this is red because when we click on the focus, it's red. When we click off, red when we click off it's not right and we still have the border here and but you can see as we hover this goes from like that light baby blue kind of nice color to this like thicker um shade of blue and we're jumping from a 500 to a 300 uh weighted color value here but when i activate it which is me clicking on it right now you can see that it gets bigger so while we're specifically Looking at the hover ability here, you could definitely see as well that there's focus 
and then there's active. But what you would have to do is if you want multiple things for focus, multiple things for active or even hover, you would have to call it out every single time. So if you wanted to change the color, that would be cool. But if I also wanted to change the color, say I wanted to make it bigger just by hovering, I could do text and let's do 4XL. So it's the, the size that it is. Let me refresh this. That's because we're already at 4XL. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do five so it slightly gets bigger. Slightly gets bigger and then I click on it and it gets even bigger. And I don't recommend this for your end users, but this is how you have to think through some of these things with React and with Tailwind is that every time you want something to happen in a given state of interaction, you have to do it every single time for every tiny little action you want to have happen. Now there's ways later I could show you where you could kind of, you know, possibly get around this a little bit, but that is how you do hover active and all those other um, states in React. If you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.